we're talking about this another type of double stop bend that I'm going to show you, Joe. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be doing this with is what I call a unison double stop. And the idea is we're going to take here's our melody. This is from Running From You by Kip Moore, right? Okay. That's our melody. We're going to make it kind of rocky, even though it's a country tune. Don't get me started. And uh, we do a bend like this. This is straight out of Led Zeppelin or blues players, whatever. So the idea is we're going to take the full step below the melody. We're going to bend that up to match the note. The idea here is we want to get a nice anchor. Before we talked about anchoring the pinky here and doing a three finger bend. Using the pinky as an anchor here. In this case, we're going to use the index finger as an anchor. Okay. Anchor that index finger, kind of coming in a little bit from an angle. Then we're going to push with these other two notes. Do not move the index finger. It's got to be anchored or else the pitch will go sharp. Same thing we talked about the pinky before. So you bend that way. So now here's our melody. notes so you don't want to do this you know that's just a little too nasty for pop music hold it. just hold your hand lock it freeze it you can also do the Hendrix thing you, know, you hold your pick up make a face whatever that's that's too rock and roll for country though okay so You want to end it so it kind of ends in a, un in a unison without any beating notes. You can bend up slowly to it if you want, or get there right away. But the way you want to end it is so it's not going. No, you don't want the notes bent beating. You want them to be in unison and beating slowly. So the closer you get to the pitch, you notice that the beating will slow down and then stop. There you go. There you are, pitch. Practice, you can get it to the point where you know right where to put it. There you go. One more time. 